Space Mar Mar Space Ma Shut up Dude, I'm recording! Oh. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to another Vlog Babble, and today we're going to talk about a little thing that's going around the interwebs right now, and that's about GW suing this author for using the term space marine in her sci-fi literature. Now, why is this kind of important? Well, at first I didn't really pay attention to it. I heard about it, I saw little articles and links to it, but I didn't really pay attention to it because I figured, oh, another GW stunt to do whatever they do. But uh, earlier I was working in Mario... Voice of the Mars text me and say, hey, check this link out. So I checked out the link and it was this woman being interviewed by this channel on a G, on streaming G+. And I'm like, yeah, and? And he's like, yeah, it's the author that's being sued you know, by GW. I'm like, it's so? And then Mario's like, hey, why don't we, you know, do you, does GWC want to get an interview with her? Maybe, you know, spread the word, you know, about what's happening to her. And I'm like, no. We don't take stances like that. We don't really want to get involved in that kind of uh, stuff. And then later on, you know, I was thinking about it and I, I was just sitting there, I finished my work, um, working on some stuff for, you know, the videos and stuff like that. And then I was like, you know, what is this all about, really? So I really, really actually went and took a look and see what was going on. And again, GW up to the antics, this time slapping a proverbial law stick over at this author for using the term Space Marines. I'm sorry to tell GW this, but Space Marines were used way before they ever did. The only difference is they got to copyright Space Marines because they made games or whatever out of it. Not copyright, trademark it. And in a way, they have a right to sue whoever they want for using it in the terms of where it applies to anything that might be related to their IP. Now, is it right? No, I don't think so. I mean, there's other ways to go about it. But when you go after a author like this author here, her name is MCA Hogarth. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I really want to spread the news. I finally started reading about it. I'm reading about this author and how they, how, you know, GW comes in and just, you know, just bulldozes over um, people. And I, I don't like that. They've done it before and we've all heard about it. And unfortunately, I don't know if this will change anything about how, you know, their sales is. There are a lot of people out there. I'm reading all these comments saying, oh, yeah, boycott GW. Boy been said a thousand times. Will we boycott it? I don't know. What I could do is help spread the word because I think this is wrong. This is very, very wrong. This is how I understand how it works and how they could sue for trademark infringement for using the term Space Marines. I'm not a legal expert, but this is how I think it works. So here I am, just regular old guy standing here and I say Space Marines. That's okay. Because there's no reference to really anything but me saying Space Marines. Now, if I was in space, oh, oh, and I say Space Marine. That's okay too. Because all I'm doing is floating in space. They could refer to anything like astronomy, right? But what if, just what if, I'm floating in space and this wine bottle is my starship, Stella Rosa. This is the Stella Rosa, okay? And I say space ring. That's still okay because I'm just holding a bottle of wine named Stella Rosa and calling it my, you know, star cruiser and saying space ring. But what if I am reciting a story, a story that I have written, my own very imagination. And it goes something like this. The Stella Rosa floating in space. And something has gone wrong with his engines. So they're daring. Soldiers poop out of the spaceship. And out they come floating in space to go fix the engines. And who are they? They are the space. Ah, see what I did there? I beeped it out, but I could still get in trouble because even though I beeped it out, you know what the reference was. I already told you ahead of time what I was pretty much going to say, but did I? And out they come floating in space to go fix the engines. And who are they? They are the Spaz Milfers. So there you guys have it. That's in a nutshell. I'm not a legal expert. You can say Space Marines when you're just out and about. You can say Space Marine and floating in space. But you can't say Space Marines while reading off your dialogue from a sci-fi fiction, floating around in space, jumping out of your phallic-looking spaceship, and screaming, Spaz 
Let's go first. Let's talk a little about why I'm a little more passionate about this because I kind of read a story. And it's not really a story. She's just a struggling artist, okay, or a writer. And I can really relate to that because I, I write myself, okay? But my aspirations right now is in other things like videos and stuff. Writing may, might come in later. I always want to be a writer, though, but that might come in later when I'm older and retired and sitting on somewhere in New England looking out over the coast at my big house over a picturesque window, window and typing up my horror stories like Stephen King. But anyway, so who is MCA Hogarth? Take a look here. This is quoted from her website, quoted. Daughter of two Cuban political exiles, MCA Hogarth was born a foreigner in the American melting pot and has a has and has had, had a fascination for the gaps in cultures and the bridge that spanned them over since. She has been many things. A web database architect, I can relate to that. Product manager, can I relate to that. Technical writer, done it myself. A massage therapist, but it's currently a full-time parent, artist, writer, and anthropologist to aliens, both human and otherwise. Well, anyways, but that's her. And from what I understand, from what I've read, from what I've seen in the interview, she's okay. She's pretty cool. I mean, she's just another struggling artist trying to make it out of the world and provide for her family. That's, that's basically it. Okay, she has no money to uh, have have a defense fund to to fight against this. GW came. And then told Amazon saying she is infringing on our trademark. So they pulled all her ebooks out from Amazon. But later on, luckily, with a lot of backup and help from the other sci fi writers, Amazon put all back up all her ebooks. Yay for you, Amazon. Totally awesome. I just want you guys to go just be aware about this if you haven't been already. Check her out. You know, and check out maybe you like her stories. I mean you can support her by, you know, buying some books or whatever. Um, but currently from what I understand is that she is talking to uh, EFF right now to get some help for, I guess, legal matters. She can't really talk about it, so I'm assuming it's legal matters. Okay, and uh, EFF stands for Electronic Frontier Foundation. And what is Electronic Frontier Foundation? Quoted from the website. From the internet to the iPod, technologies are transforming our society and empowering us as speakers, citizens, creators, and consumers. When our freedoms in the network world comes under attack, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, EFF, is the first line of defense. Do -do -do. EFF broke new ground when it was founded in 1990, well before the internet was on, the most, on most people's radars, and continues to confront cutting-edge issues defending free speech, privacy, innovation, and consumer rights today. From the beginning, EFF has championed the public interest in every critical battle affecting digital rights. EFF comes to rescue, and hopefully they do right uh, by uh, Hogarth. And uh, hopefully MTA, if you're listening, uh, more power to you. I want to hear what your thoughts are on this, guys. Um, do a video response. That will help spread the word a little. Post your comments down below or whatever. Or go to mcahogarth.com and check her out. It's M-C-A-H-O-G-A-R-T-H. -H, and I don't know why I'm spelling it out because I'll just probably edit it on the bottom there anyways. Thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys later.